Hey guys, this is Amber Rain Davis from NotableInk.com and this is a super quick video to show you how to use Alta New Floral Garden Stencil. This might be one of the coolest stencils that I own. I absolutely love it. I think it's genius how they set it up. This stencil is six by roughly eight and a half inches and you ink up in one color then you turn it 180 degrees and ink it up in another color which gives you this beautiful floral garden we're also going to be using ombre stripe stencil and the broken chevron stencil for an emb dry embossed background so let's get started we're really focusing on the inking up here and how to use this stencil so this is the floral garden stencil as i said you can see that it's quite large I'm going to go ahead and tape my cardstock to the back of the stencil and this is just regular 80 pound Nina classic crest solar white. It's a super smooth cardstock which is great for ink blending. I'm going to go ahead and use the Altenew Fuchsia Crisp Dye Ink from the Spring Bouquet set and a blending brush and I'm just going to blend that on. Um, my filming was a little bit washed out um, in terms of the lighting, so sorry for that. This, this color is actually even more vibrant than what you're seeing here in the video. You'll see that in the final photos. So I'm just blending this on and making sure that I get all the flowers inked up. You can leave a darker color at the base and kind of do a variation of color. It does not need to be one solid color. It's nice if you've got some light and dark areas. Now you want to make sure that you go ahead and clean your stencil and I'm just using a regular old baby wipe. Clean off your station and you're going to flip it around 180 degrees. Those leaves just kind of match up with the flowers that are already there. I'm getting it taped down. I had left that tape on the back of my cardstock so it just presses down. In here I believe I'm using fresh leaf also from the spring bouquet set. And I'm using a really small blending brush here, but really the flowers are completely protected. So you really can use one of your larger brushes, which would be a little bit faster and go ahead and ink blend that. So same thing, if you use kind of like darker blending at the base, it gives you a nice um, ombre effect and shadow to those flowers. And um, I'll go ahead and cut some of this out. Since I'm using this smaller brush, it took a little bit longer. All right, are you ready for the big reveal? Oh, before we do that, there's this one flower at the bottom that wasn't there until I flipped my stencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in pink, and then we'll do our big reveal. Here we go, are you ready? Look how awesome that is. Isn't that the coolest stencil? I just think it's so pretty. You can do so much with this. If you used your Versamark ink pad and kind of squish that down, you could also do some embossing. I'm using my new favorite ink. This is the Alta New Obsidian Pigment Ink. It's amazing. So I've got a nice big stamp here. I'm inking it up one time. I'm not really sure what I'm waiting for here. It's not like I'm gonna be able to pick that up and there's not gonna be black ink there. So I don't know what the delay was for, but we're just uh, putting this ink down and look at that. Look how awesome that is in one inking. So I'm gonna add a sub sentiment and this is you are the best thing um, or maybe it's the best thing stamp set. I'll have it linked below. As always, all the products are linked below, but it's one of the many stamp sets. So I have a piece of ombre stripes paper that I had inked up in one of the previous videos. I'm gonna use that to back it up to add a little more green. And I didn't like that other background panel that I had there, so I went ahead and used an A2 piece of white cardstock, and I ran that through my die cut machine with an embossing pad and the broken chevron stencil so that I could dry emboss this background. And I think that just adds a nice kind of lattice feel to this floral garden stencil, and that's the finished card. I will be sure to link the other cards that I have for this hop in the videos at the end. Thank you so much for stopping by today. As always, I appreciate your support and anytime you like and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, you're awesome. If not, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified when there's new inspiration. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.